Hello everybody and welcome back to my Beastmen campaign. Now, we have completed the victory in this, the uh, the uh, main objective for the long campaign. So we are actually done with this at the... Oh no, 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 we need to raise a few more settlements to complete our long campaign. I am not paying attention. So we do still need to do a bit more damage to people for our long campaign victory, which we are... We are now moving straight on to, um, so as I said, we're going to have a bit of fun now while we push, um, right, we are going to start pushing towards this town here, start raiding towards them. Little bit of leveling up to do, and obviously we need to start knocking over a few more settlements because I actually do want to get that um, that total victory here. And we're gonna, as I said before, we're gonna go on a bit of an explore and have some fun as well. Right, so where next? Ooh, they've got a good income, so let's head here. Let's head to Castle Baston and smash that. Basically, in the moment we're just gonna start cutting a swathe through the. Uh, a sway through vampires lands to do as much damage to them as we can um, we should be able to uh, sufficiently damage them I'm gonna be honest I'm not particularly worried about how long it's gonna take you know they are gonna send a big force to come and get me at some point which I'm expecting but right now it's all about having a bit more fun so 45k there Okay, so let's see how things go, and let's enter. And our, this is probably also giving our Skaven allies a little bit... I know traditionally they're not really our friends, but this is giving them a bit more uh, breathing room here, because the vampires are definitely going to be turning around. Yeah, they can't afford to be fighting on this border now, because Chaos are cutting a swathe through them here, and now I'm cutting a swathe through them as well, um, which means the vampire counts are going to be... Uh, but let's be honest, they're in trouble now. They have a lot... You know, they are being hit by an awful lot of... Uh, by an awful lot of... Uh, of Chaos supporters here. In me and the Chaos armies themselves. And we are going to start shredding through their territory and doing as much damage as we can. Um, and then, then the other, other horde here is going to go across to Lothar where I believe Marathi is in power, and I believe that Marathi and Nagarond are not friends with each other, so uh, that could also lead to some very interesting uh, situations over there. Uh, so we're going to uh, start burning through their lands, and then we're also going we're, we're to dive down. We're not going to stay there for long, we're just going to do burn a sway through, and then we're going to charge down to Lustria for a bit of fun. Uh, we should be able to do a lot of damage to the Cult of Pleasure there. Oh! Talking of the Cult of Pleasure, they have landed just there. In a... Just behind us there as well. So they are invading the Vampire Lands as well. So, uh... The Vampires, while they're still strong, they are probably still the strongest faction about. They are... They are not having a good time of it just now. <laughs> no, not happening. Um, and in fact we potentially you know by cutting through with the chaos doing the same we are potentially uh, finishing them off you know, we're potentially gonna gonna topple them um, we do still have a lot of uh, yeah, these high elves behind us who are refugees but haven't settled yet so where to next which is the capital Baudelaire is the capital Baudelaire so let's uh, let's start raiding towards there because when I'm raiding, I don't take attrition, and we're getting a nice chunk of damage from raiding here, which tells you how powerful, how strong this city is going to be. Let's hit Skaven Blight. Let's bring up my second army. Another 26k there. And Tilia are now in serious trouble. Okay. 
A little bit more leveling up to do. And let's end turn. So, we let's finish off those last few human settlements there. So we've got a uh, Estelia has a last settlement remaining there. And uh, we're going to hit Baudelaire. Baudelaire, however I pronounce that place, next turn. And then we're going to start burning our way down the coast a bit more. Um, or we could just jump straight over. We might just jump straight over the sea, especially as she's got as marathi has got territory here, and just cut into her her over there as well. Um, here, the vampires are trying to recap behind me. Unsurprisingly, um, they are still fighting down here, but I don't know how well they're doing. The warriors of chaos are struggling. They are slowly getting whittled down. They ever thrown themselves right into the center of the vampire's territory, so that's unsurprising there. Um, Mazamundi is well, fairly powerful, but he's not near us at the moment. He's over in Lustria, and we're going to be going and having some fun over there. And the last defenders are still doing very well. Nagarond is probably quite powerful. No, from the power of people I can see, um, the vampires are still by far the most powerful faction. Clan Moors is doing well though. I mean, I'm still not hugely powerful, but it's managing to marshal its forces and grow. It really is taking advantage. It really should start taking advantage and pushing up through the mountains here. Ah, oh, so Estelia have uh, probably saved off destruction for the time being by uh, capping behind me like that. But so we're going to hit Tabarro next, Tabarro next, and uh, just keep this aggression on. And I think soon we're potentially going to have war between all the various vampire clans. And the lizard men are running away from this horrible little war zone they just walked into the middle of. I'm amazed this little faction is still alive, actually. Okay, so things are going nicely there. So those refugees are... I'm not sure where they're going. They might even be trying to sail back over to Ulfwan, but we'll see. So we've lost a Bray herd. Uh, we'll take the Horde Growth, not that we really need it at this point. And that is the end of Telia. Oops. That is not what I meant to do. Okay, so we're going to start heading towards there. Okay, and now let's raid Baudelaire. Baudelaire. Let's bring my other horde in. My other herd in. And that's another 40k. So we are we are causing a lot of damage here. This place isn't so profitable. Um, Aquitaine is reasonable and there's some other big places down here. But we might just go for a little sail across into the elf lands next. So right now we are just pure aggression here, guys. Um, you know, our, our herds are powerful. And we can just basically wander where we want and start smashing things. Um, so I'm just going to keep doing that. I do want to go and explore the rest of the map. So I'm going to do that. Um, these herds here are going to go around and go over to Orfwan. These herds are going to curve along the coast and just start pushing back into the vampire territories. I think Chaos is in trouble. So I might even go and try and link up with my Chaos, with my chaos allies there. To try and uh, try and save them because they are powerful still, and actually working in concert with them, I can potentially rip the heart out of the vampires. And in fact, what we're going to do is we're going to start marching up towards the original vampire territories of Tempelhof and uh, Tempelhof and all these places up here, and Castle Drakenhof, and um, you know, all of these little bits up here in Sylvania where the vampires come from and absolutely smash them. Yeah, <laughs> no. 
I think she wants my help. I think she's uh, not having the best time of it. Now we have plenty of spare cash at the moment. I'm not going to push out another horde at the moment. But what I might do is I might try next time I rest a horde. I'm probably going to start properly minotauring up my hordes. So giving them lots of minotaurs. Uh, so that they're in a position to really start being able to pressure. Well, I mean they can pressure now. But just to make them that much stronger. Because uh, a whole line of minotaurs charging an enemy. You know, sort of 40 units of Minotaurs charging an enemy. I think most things will fall over. Vessels of Chaos. They are still somehow holding on. They're just... I think they're just running away. But, uh... See, they need to find somewhere to hold up and rebuild. And we have a lot of rogue armies floating around the map now. We may as well smash here while we're on our way. We need a Dark Moon which is going to give us a lot of regen as well. I think they know what's coming, don't you? Okay, so that's another nice little smash there. Happy event. We're going to grab lightning strike, however. Okay, so things are going nicely here. We are causing a lot of damage now. Um, these two herds are going to push over. I, I don't mind if Estelia settles. Estelia settles again. You know, it's already got somewhere behind me. I'm not ch ch turning around to deal with them. These guys are going exploring. They're going to burn. Through. We're going to hit. Oh, fam, we're going to burn around and we're going to jump over and burn our way into Lustria. That is the plan. And we're going to push as far as we can into Lustria until the, uh, until the lizard men manage to stop me. So Marathi is actually holding off the vampires there. So the vampires are, are being assailed from multiple fronts now. So they are... They are having issues. The lizard men have been beaten back, though, which is probably helping them. You can see they're bringing armies back now. Um, though they are avoiding me, which is probably a sensible thing. Though, as before, I don't mind them recapping behind me, because all they'll do is they'll spend money and time resorting these places out. However, by letting me actually take them in the first place... I'm shredding their economy and making them weak to various... No, it's not happening. Well, Mazamundi is actually friendly with me. Um, which is unusual, considering I'm a servant of chaos. He should not be friendly with me at all. <laughs> what? It's because of the damage I'm doing to the vampires. They all like me. Even though, even though I'm a servant of chaos, they like me because I'm doing damage to the vampires. They're willing to forget the fact that I would plunge the world into darkness and destroy everything. Um, but no, so we're going to keep cutting through the chaos here. Sorry, the vampires here. And uh, just, as I said, it's going to push for, for Sylvania now and try and shred them. Um... And go exploring with our other hordes. So Estelia have settled down there, which I was heart was kind of expecting. So we're going to start jumping towards them, knock them out, and then we will be a couple of seaborne herds. Vessels of chaos are still somehow there. I think it's because Skaven just can't be bothered to deal with them, because they're just not worth their time. 
Oh, they're reasonable. They're doing reasonably well, that little faction of, uh, that little, um, Norsican faction. I think they are the last Norsican faction left, even though they now live nowhere near Norsica. Right, Pavion is by far definitely the next place. However, we are taking a few turns to recoup. And recruit some more Minotaurs. Right, I want another great weapons. And in fact, the other thing I might do is I might get myself another Saigor in both of these. Get another Cygor. So these guys are getting... Oh, I can't recruit Cygors in this horde. So actually, in this herd. So actually, you can recruit another... Oh. You can recruit another Cygor. I'm going to drop this guy. And you can recruit a third Cygor, which can go over to the other guys. Not even going to bother even worrying about keeping that. The young girls. Um, we're going to get another unit of uh, shielded minotaurs there. Um, I don't think I really need too many anti-large at the moment. Um, though I don't also don't need the shielded. Um, who's got the better recruitment speed? couple units of great weapons okay and that should do us so they're gonna wait there for a couple of turns while they they rejig a bit but these guys cannot start beast pathing over here oops and that will be the end of turn again and um, right now we can just afford you know we can just afford to keep moving and keep destroying places Especially as we go over to the other continents, we're going to be hitting places which have been a uh, seats of power for a long, long time. So we're going to get a lot of income out of smashing them. Um, so right now, it, it's just having fun, running around the map, smashing people. As I said, the vampires, if they manage to bring everything to bear on my hordes, I will be in trouble and I will lose those hordes. But it's the fact they possibly probably can't afford to bring everything to bear on my hordes because on my herds because they are so far you know they are being pressured from all over the warriors of chaos are still in their territory somewhere though i don't know where at the moment um it would be quite nice to get an alliance with the warriors of chaos if they don't particularly like me just at the moment um because simply because um you know so they are have to pay attention to them they are you know if they push everything north skaven will take advantage of it and the lizard men which will want to just wander through the uh, skaven territory and hit them Though, they all take damage by walking through the Skaven territory, so uh, that's probably kind of stopping this big, what all that's really stopping them really big clashes down here. Though the last defenders would lose against the vampires, so uh, they're probably doing quite well from a Skaven as well here. Um, Nagaronda and Marathi are still over there. The Cult of Pleasure seems to be suffering, though mm, she is stronger than Nagaronda actually, I think. Um, but it's really unusual that they haven't confederated by this point in the game. As a clan moors are definitely slowly making a comeback. They just need to start resettling places fast. Because if they resettle all of those mountains, they will be back to a... They will be able to sit there and take their time growing. And nobody will, pretend, nobody will really be able to find where they are to deal with them.
sentinels are avoiding me, unsurprisingly, it's probably quite a sensible thing for them to do. They know what's coming. We'll defile this territory to spread the chaos corruption. Oh wow, so this is actually a vampire territory as well. They are rebuilding. We're potentially going to do a little bit of rejigging over here as well. I was a bit confused then, I didn't realise I'd fully upped this army. And more Minotaurs. Always more Minotaurs. Right. Oh no, we can get Deadly Onslaught here. Okay, and end turn. So these guys are going to take a couple of turns just to regen as well. Though they don't need as long, but I want to get some units. I want to get them nicely set up before we go fully aggressive again over to Ulfwan. Um, okay, so let's see what the vampires are going to do about me. Though they can't necessarily find my armies up north. Um, and we'll have to see how they deal with that. Okay, we do appear to have a little freeze. I thought it was going to crash then for a second. So the Lampars are trying to work their way through the Skaven territory, where they're taking attrition doing that. Um, the Lawmasters are somewhere, though they are... They are... Oh, they're, that's, I think that's probably their last place for the Lawmasters. Um, so they're not too much for me to worry about. I think the Vampires are by far the biggest threat to everybody in the game right now, but I'm not going to help everybody else take them out. Um... Though they're doing a good job of taking themselves out because they're at war on too many fronts. Still not happening, especially as I'm about to invade you. Okay. Now, I do have the reprisal beta on at the moment, so I don't know if that's what's causing my freezes because I forgot to turn it off after my, um... Orc campaign where I've got it on. I don't know if it will retroactively be applying to this campaign, so I might be able to make some of my units immortal at the moment. We'll have to have a little look. That is a weird shaped army. Um, that Lizardmen faction does seem to be fairly powerful at the moment. and they are, they are settling over there, which is probably more of a worry to the vampires than anything else. Um, though Marathi's also settled. So I think that, that the old world is about to basically slowly going to start being chipped away by the other factions. Okay, what do we want? We'll start pushing down this tree with that one. And we are still doing a little bit of recruiting here. Malagor can also uh, change stance. And we can also do a little bit of recruiting here. I'm um, actually going to pop out a couple of extra Cygors for my armies there. Um, I'm going to drop a unit of Gauls to get ourselves another Minotaur Great Weapons. And we'll do a little bit of rejigging when they're done. These guys should be ready to go now. Okay, so we're going to start pushing up to Pavion. 
We're doing this in this stance. Ooh. In raiding stance so we don't take too much attrition as we move. Okay, and turns. Pavion, and then we're going to start burning our way back through the old rem remnants of the Empire towards Sylvania and the, the, the seat of the vampires where they've obviously held there for a long time so we have to do a lot of damage and get a lot of a lot of favour out of destroying them. Okay. So let's see. And the vampire counts are not turning around. See, they are stupid. They should be throwing every army back towards me because if they could get four or five armies to corner my two hordes, it would be an awesome fight, but they could kill me. Um, but I guess this is the difference between a human player and an AI. Because, But then again, they would lose a lot of territory doing it. But they would then be able to recoup that. Um, whereas right now they're trying to stretch themselves too thin across too many fronts. They need to they need to accept some losses, which is kind of what I have to do in my... Uh, I know how difficult that is to do because that's what's happening in my Dark Elf campaign at the moment. I'm having to... Uh, I'm having to... Uh, Accept the fact that somewhere I'm probably going to take losses. I'm going to throw little armies about the place to try and stop them and do as much damage as I can. But my Dark Elf campaign has gone from, as you, if you've been watching, you've seen, it's gone from bad place to bad place. Um, and that's what they need to do. They can, however, unlike me in my Dark Elf campaign, they can afford to lose a big chunk of territory. Whereas what they can't afford to do is let me ravage through their territories unchecked because I will just rip the heart out of them. Nope. Nope. So they've come all the way from over here. We've got Mazamundi here. We've got these guys here. Apparently you do now get the spine of Sotek Dwarfs as well, I do believe, over there, which could be interesting. Um, Vessels of Chaos. I really do hope they settle at some point, because it's a bit boring than not settling. They could set up a nice colony. Right, let's take the replenishment. And let's march on Pavion. Uh, Paravon, sorry. Oh no, we lost Union of Gauls, who cares? 36! Thousand victory! So victory in a world of chaos, a time of heroes, an age of war. You have overcome every challenge laid before you, faced down every foe bent upon your destruction. This strange and dangerous realm, riven with battle, bloodshed, and slaughter, twisted beyond sanity by the warping power of chaos has seen the foundering of many a mighty empire yet yours remains triumphant and unconquered victorious in defiance of all yet what is talk of empires to the destroyer of all civilizations let the shattered cities smolder to ash let briar and form reclaim their tumbled stones and bleached bones. Your war herds roam the lands, returned to their primal roots, braying a triumphant challenge to storm-wracked skies. Yet what is talk of empires to the destroyer of all civilizations? Let the shattered city smolder to ash. Let Briar and Fawn reclaim the tumble stones and bleached bones. Your warheads roam. Have I not already said that? Yeah, for some reason it, it's repeating this last verse. Um, I assume it's like some sort of chart. Anyway, continue to record. It's not the most interesting record to watch this one, as you can see. As the world kind of grew. We started around here and we uh, did bits of damage. And basically, because you can't really see what's going on with us. 
um, until we this point when we start clearing out the dwarfs. Um, but it's very difficult to see where you go in this campaign. So uh, anyway, guys, so let's uh, we will continue this campaign. This is probably going to take a bit of a backseat to my other campaigns now. Uh, but I'm gonna what I'm gonna do with these guys we will we'll go and we'll burn through Earthwan and hit down to Lustria. And these guys are gonna still head to the heart of the vampires. But right now we're playing this for fun rather than any serious aim to win. Because we now have now got the uh, total victory we needed. Anyway guys, I hope you've been enjoying this campaign. As I said, we will still do a few more sessions on it just to explore the map mostly and as I said have a bit of fun. But uh it will probably peter off as time goes on. Thank you very much for watching, guys.